Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to read, filter, search and send email using your Gmail account. It will be using UiPath G Suite activities in order to achieve this. This is the second part of the multi-part video series and if you have missed out the first video about how to set up a Google workspace for automation, you can watch it here by clicking on the link displayed on the screen or you can find the same in the description below. So let us jump in on to UiPath Studio to create a new process first. So let me start by creating a new process. So to create a new process, open your UiPath Studio and click on process here and then click create. Now we have to, we have to add the uipath.gsuite.activities uipath package. So to add the uipath package, like you have to just click on manage packages here, click on all packages and you can see that the package appears here. Just click install and then save. So once the G Suite activities are installed, now we are ready to do the automation here. So I'm going to add a sequence in my main workflow. To do that, click on the plus icon and add a sequence activity from here. Or you can also go to the activities pane to see all the available activities for you. So now we have to add our G Suite application scope as the first activity here and all the other activities related to Google Suite should come inside the G Suite application scope. So the G Suite application scope is where we define the authentication. So here you have the authentication type. You have the API key authentication or OAuth authentication, service account authentic key authentication. So if you select OAuth, you're going to fill in the client ID and client secret. In, if you select API key, you have to give the API key here on the top section. And if you want, if you are selecting the service account key, then you have to fill in the respective service account information here. So in our case, the, the OAuth is being used. So I'm going to just select the OAuth ID here. And then I'm going to fill in the client ID and client secret from my Google Cloud console. Google Cloud and just click on this link first link that i have and then click on console so this will open my google cloud console select so under this project the dashboard will be displayed so now just go under api services and click credentials and you can see that we have already created the credentials as part of the previous video so this credential is available. So to copy the client ID and client secret, just click on this credential. And here on the right hand side, you can see that the credentials are displayed. So I just copy the client ID, go back to my UiPath Studio, and then paste the client ID here, the string. Similarly, I have to copy client secret go back to studio and then paste in the client secret so this completes my authentication process for the gmail activity so now for me to just read the emails i have to use the get mail messages activity once you drag and drop the mail messages you have the properties here so the label filter will allow you to filter mail messages based on the label and the search expressions is something like can be used for filtering based on certain criteria the search expression can be built using the gmail search expression creator here is the number of results that you need so this is like the maximum number of results that activity will re return as part of the output so now let us use the label filter activity for this example. So I'm going to clear whatever the search expression is already there here and then use a label filter here. So to use a label filter, I have already created 
a label called LinkedIn and there are three emails which I have sent so in this example we are going to process the LinkedIn job applications and the robot will reply to the job application acknowledge the job application so for me to read that I just need to mention the label as LinkedIn here and I mentioned like the maximum results I need is three so here is the output variable that will be returned so this will be a list of gmail messages so in order to create a variable for this just type in control k and then you can give the variable name so i will just give as emails then click enter uh, you have this list of emails an array of gmail message right so then i have to use a for each loop here so uh, to loop through the emails and then i will provide a message box inside the loop so for each email in emails so you can see this mail variable is of the type object so which i wanted to change it here so you, have, you can click on object and then drop down and then go browse for a gmail message here if you type gmail you can see here that it comes as uipath.gsuite.models.gmail message select that and now inside the body i can just drag and drop a message box and say so if you run the process now it's going to so show you the three emails which is getting read sample job application is the subject of the first email this is the subject of the second email and this is the subject of third email and that completes the process so now i have read the three emails and in a loop i have given a message box so now what i am trying to do here is to reply to this email same email using a send email message so i need to send a acknowledgement back to the job applications so what i'm going to do is to use the send mail message activity under the gmail activities and this carries three three properties like one is the recipients two recipients then the subject and the body right so I could use the same mail object above and I can say the mail dot to this is where I wanted to then the reply to so if you see here this is an array of email addresses that I have to provide here you can see the compilation error so in order for me to make this an array I have to just put this inside a flower braces then I can use the same subject mail dot subject and here in the body I'll just say being processed so this will send an email and then finally after all the three emails are sent outside the for loop I just need to add a message box here process completed successfully so now if you try running the whole process it should read all the three emails and send and reply to each of these mail messages so let me run the file and see what happens you see the first email is read the second email is read and third email is read so finally the process gets completed successfully so if you go back to the sent items folder you can see that all the three job applications are processed in the send item please do feedback on what you think about this video drop me a note in the comment section below your feedback is very important to me thank you so much for watching check out my other videos like this and don't forget to subscribe See you again in the next video.
Bye for now.